Mighty God, I bless your name. Holy One, I worship you, for you are God all by yourself. Come on, sing it to him on this morning, church. You are God all by yourself. Age to age, you're still the same. All creation will shout your name. Age to age, you're still the same. All creation will shout your name. For you are God all by yourself. Come on and help me worship him this morning. For you are God all by yourself. For who you are, I bless your name. For who you are, I worship you. Sing it to him. For who you are, I bless your name. For who you are, I worship you. For you are God all by yourself. Come on, sing it to him on this morning. You are God all by yourself. 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 Age to age is still the same. All creation will shout your name. Age to age, you're still the same. All creation will shout your name. For you are God all by yourself. Love you this morning. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You are God. You are God all by yourself. Come on and sing it to him this morning. You are God. You are God all by yourself. It's here, the book we've been waiting for. Seven Ways the Holy Spirit Speaks to Us. A complete guide to hearing God. Pastor Sean Pinner gives readers life-changing keys on exploring, understanding, and experiencing the voice of God, which every believer can hear on a daily basis. Packed with powerful revelations, this book shares the methods, means, and motivations for the voice of God and provide answers to questions like how to hear God, recognize His voice, tap into His guidance, and much more. Receive confidence on hearing God through the Word, dreams and visions, divine impressions, and more. And discover a much deeper and more intimate walk with the Lord. Order Seven Ways the Holy Spirit Speaks Today, available on Amazon and all major book suppliers. Your journey into the powerful realms of God's voice starts here. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, as we get ready to go into the Word of God on this morning, minister to your people, strengthen them, give them peace in their minds and in their hearts on this morning. There's a lot going on, God. That's disturbing our peace, that's troubling us, that's burden us down. But Lord, we put our trust in you this morning. Speak to us from the Word of God. Nothing like the Word. There is power in the Word of God. I pray the Holy Ghost take the Word of God and make it so simple that a child could understand what the Holy Ghost is saying to the church. In Jesus' name we pray. Good morning, good morning to you. So listen, this entire week here, what we are going to do is we are focusing on scriptures and words that bring comfort. Words from the Bible. It's a powerful words from the Bible. Powerful scriptures that bring comfort. That brings peace to our minds in the time of trouble. In the time of turmoil. In the time of uncertainty. Are you listening to me this morning? So this is where we are going this entire week. And oh my God. If there is ever a time that we need the word of God to bring peace into our minds and our hearts. It is right now. So I want to take you into the book of Philippians. Chapter 4 on this morning. Verses 6. Probably all the way down to verse 9. Let's see how far the Holy Ghost will let us get this morning. Notice what the Apostle Paul says. He says, be careful 
for nothing or be careful about nothing. The word careful right there actually means to be anxious, to become fearful. You know, the Bible says God have not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. So the apostle Paul said, be anxious for nothing. It is so easy to become overwhelmed with the news reports and everything that's going on. And of course, we are dealing with serious circumstances. We are dealing with great turbulence, great trials. I'm telling you, it's enough to overwhelm anybody. But the apostle Paul is warning you and I as a child of God, don't allow yourself to become so anxious that you forget about the word of God, that you neglect your faith, your trust in the word of God. The Bible says in Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, trust in the Lord with all of your heart, lay not to your own understanding in all your ways. Acknowledge him and he will direct your paths. Now watch this. So he says, be anxious for nothing, but in everything, my God, but in everything, in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. Tell him all about it. There's a song that says, what a friend we have in Jesus. You, you remember that song? <laughs> I love that song. What a friend we have in Jesus. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins, all our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege. What a privilege to carry everything. Everything to God in prayer. Come on, let's sing that one more time. Oh, my mom loved this song. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. All our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry. What a privilege to carry. Everything. Everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. And oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pain we bear. All because we do not carry. All because we do not carry. Everything, everything to God in prayer. Come on, let's sing. And what a friend we have in Jesus. Back to verse 1. What a friend I have in my Jesus. All my sins, all my sins and griefs to bear. And what a privilege to carry. What a privilege to carry everything everything to God in prayer oh praise God oh the Holy Ghost said that song to somebody hallelujah glory to God glory to God my God my God the Holy Ghost just had an urge to sing that song. I just had an urge. Keep me in the flow. I just had an urge to sing it. My God, my God, my God. What a friend we have in Jesus. So the Apostle Paul continues and says, And the peace of God, Philippians 4, 7, And the peace of God, which pass it all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Oh, if there's every time we need to keep in power of God is right now to keep, to just, to keep our hearts and our minds. The word keep means he will guard, he will watch over, he will protect, he will preserve. 
He will preserve your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. He will make sure no matter what goes on, he'll give you a peace that doesn't make sense. That's what it means. He'll give you a peace that passes all man's understanding. Give you such a peace that, that people think something's wrong with you. Because they'll be thinking, how could this guy be so peaceful? My God. And he says in verse 8, Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of a good report, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these things. Isaiah 26 verse 3, Thou will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on him you got to keep your mind on Jesus you got to keep your mind on Jesus don't allow the turbulence and the circumstances that we all are dealing with to drown out the word of God to drown your faith out of you let's keep on looking to the hills from whence coming our help it's coming from the Lord glory to God glory to God I gotta sing it. What a friend we have in Jesus. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. We love you this morning. And what a privilege to carry everything, everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace, oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pain we bear. All because, all because we do not carry everything, everything to God. Keep playing it real soft. Listen, I want you to join your faith with me and my lovely wife pastor amy on this morning father we join our faith with your people on this morning we pray for peace in their minds peace in their hearts god god i rebuke the circumstances that's trying to overwhelm everybody we look to the hills from whence cometh our help our help comes from the lord you promise that when we call unto you you will answer us and show us great and mighty things that we know not touch your people this morning encourage your people this morning strengthen your people this morning in the name of jesus give them victory give them the breakthrough the miracle the turnaround in jesus name we pray so right now i want to give you an opportunity to sow a seed and stand with the work of god support the preaching of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ it's the most important message on the planet is the preaching of the gospel the preaching of the Word of God to support the gospel you can visit us online right now seanpinder.net forward slash give seanpinder.net forward slash give you can also give through the ministry PayPal account that address is paypal.me forward slash seanpinder ministries paypal.me forward slash Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also give through the ministry Zell account. The ministry Zell account email address is info at seanpinder.net. And for tax purposes, you must send us your email and your mailing address. Info at seanpinder.net. You can also give through the ministry Cash App account. Our Cash App address is the dollar sign Sean Pinder Ministries. The dollar sign, Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also give by mailing your donations into the ministry. Just remember to make your checks and money orders out to Sean Pinder Ministries. P.O. Box 2726 McKinney, Texas 75070. And never forget, me and my lovely wife, Pastor Amy, we love you so much. We appreciate you. Help us to continue to spread this message around the world. And listen, if you are new to this channel and did not have a chance to subscribe, click on that subscribe button.
Come on. We want you to be a part of our family on YouTube and on Facebook. Like us on Facebook if you're watching us through Facebook. If you like us and subscribe on YouTube every time we upload new videos, guess what? You will receive those videos. We upload a new morning broadcast every day because the Lord put it in my heart. He said, feed my sheep. I intend to do it until the day I die with a new broadcast every day, a fresh one every day. Because God loves you and he has an awesome plan for your life. Listen, remember, join us on tomorrow as we talk about words, words of comfort from the Bible. Words of comfort from the Bible. We are going to have a great week. Looking forward to being with you every morning this week. God bless you. We love you. Take care now. Bye-bye.